Claudius Peters provides machines and process plants since 112 years. Our business is very cost driven, so the customer is expecting us to deliver faster, to deliver cheaper. We have to change how we do things, how we engineer, how we make projects and products. Claudius Peters loves to experiment with new technologies and new ideas, so I came up here one day and I gave them a half a day of training on generative design. At first I thought that the workshop was just for fun. We were designing and using some easy parts, but we ended up recreating a real part from Claudius Peters. We were completely surprised about the shape and what generative design made out of our already optimized part. The oldest engineer in the house actually did some calculations and said himself, wow, I didn't really think that, that was going to work, but this part is a lot better, even better than the optimized part I created yesterday. And from that point, they began to iterate on that rather spacey looking design and think about how they might be able to manufacture that part using traditional techniques. We took the proposal from generative design and we reversed, we engineered it reversed so that we can do it with traditional manufacturing methods. So when you use generative design, you have to rethink as a designer. Generative design requires that you model the constraints. You do not think of a part or how does this part look like. You think what is the requirement, what are the loads, what are the constraints of a part. And then generative design is giving you possible designs. Before Autodesk Generative Design, the optimization process took several weeks, even months. Now, with Autodesk Generative Design, it took us half a day. To work with Autodesk Generative Design is easy, fast, and the outcomes are great. I love it, plain and simple.